Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of the new year. So far so good and hopefully this will turn into the year of Godot and we can anticipate the first stable release of Godot 4 and some positive publicity for Godot when they present at the Game Developers Conference in a few months time. Godot continues to gain momentum and there have been some interesting videos released recently. Here are just a few. Game Dev Journey. In an interesting video essay, Frogwish explains why he is switching from Unity to Godot. Choosing a game engine is something most game developers will have to do, and with the rising popularity of Godot, more people are re-evaluating their choice and considering Godot as a good alternative. Frogwish makes a lot of good points in an entertaining way, with the end goal being to give back and help grow the Godot community. So please watch the full video on his channel because it's worth your time. New to the Godot devlog scene, or at least new to me, is devlog Logan. He's made a number of good tutorials for Godot 4, and the latest one demonstrates how to create a forest night environment from scratch. It's not just Godot 4, as his tutorials also include content for other FOSS tools, such as Critter and Blender. The tutorials are timestamped for ease of access and really show snippets of the entire process of game development. In my opinion, this channel is underrated, so check it out now and subscribe to grow the Godot community. Have you ever looked at the lights and shadows in Among Us and wondered how you could do that in your own game? Well, wonder no more because a J08 coder is here with a solution which he demonstrates in just three minutes. Using light masks and light 2D nodes, the effect can be recreated surprisingly well. AJ's channel is full of helpful videos, all for Godot, and I recommend it very highly indeed. So be sure to visit and subscribe for more. I stumbled across a tutorial series made by Pure Asbestos, the goal of which is to make a pixel art editor like Asprite, but optimized for mobile. Asbestos is using Godot 4 for this project, and in his first episode, he manages to get pinch, pan, and zoom touch controls working on a camera 2D. The approach to solving a complex problem in this video is really interesting to watch and I could see this ending up as an amazing plugin which could allow us to create pixel art within the engine itself. Make sure to follow this one and to let Pure Asbestos know that we are supporting him. Alexi 24K has burst onto the Godot tutorial scene this December with a really handy video for Godot newcomers taking you through everything you need to know to recreate Flappy Bird in Godot in just 13 minutes. The video is light, entertaining and really helpful with no fluff, just exactly what you need to know. I'm really grateful to Alexi for this and I want to encourage him to make more content. This is just what the Godot community needs. So if you agree with me, then please subscribe to Alexi's channel and help him to spread the Godot good news. That's all for this week. Thank you for joining me this new year and I hope to see much more of you as the year goes on.